Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'll be showing you how to connect your PlayStation 5 directly to your PC. However, the catch is that we're gonna eliminate some of the downsides of streaming the PlayStation on the PC by simply having a multi-monitor setup such as the one you see here. Of course, to make this work out, it's essential to download and set up PlayStation Remote Play. So first, let me talk you through the connection that I have going on here. Of course, I have all three monitors connected to the PC, as well as the PlayStation being connected to the middle monitor. And with getting that out of the way, now we can move over to setting up PlayStation Remote Play. And to do that, all you have to do is go to Google, type in PS Remote Play, go to the first link, which is gonna take you directly to PlayStation's official website, and then you can download it from there. And once the download is complete, you simply run through the installation wizard. And to set up your account, you can refer back to this guide to help you link your PSN account with the application directly. Now that you have Remote Play installed and linked to your account, next is we're gonna open the display settings and we're gonna change the main display to one of the side monitors because the goal here is to get direct video out from the PlayStation to my monitor instead of playing it through the application, which is gonna downgrade or compress the video output. Now with that being done, we can go ahead and launch Remote Play and get connected to the PlayStation. And as soon as it's up and running, we're simply gonna move it to the side screen and proceed with disconnecting the middle monitor from the PC. And after a few seconds, the monitor is going to automatically detect the other video input, in this case, the PlayStation, and switch the output to HDMI 1. And now for controls, all you have to do is connect your PlayStation controller to the PC with a USB Type-C cable. And now let's talk about some of the benefits of using such a setup. Of course, I'm going to have my headphones connected to the PC, which means I'll be able to get both audio signals through a single output. And this is beneficial in many areas, such as connecting to Discord to talk with your friends, or maybe watching a guide on YouTube, or even listening to music, all while playing on your PlayStation and retaining both audio signals. And another win in this situation is gonna be the ability to stream PlayStation Remote Play directly on Discord to your friends. However, the footage is gonna be compressed twice, once through the Remote Play app and once again through Discord. However, this is still a big win because you're gonna eliminate the need for a capture card and essentially you're getting it all for free. And now that we mentioned all the benefits of using this method, I think it's only fair that we talk about some of the downsides. Playing through the application instead of directly through the PlayStation is naturally going to induce some input lag or delay. However, it's barely noticeable. I mean, yes, if you're really focused on it, you'll be able to tell that there is a slight delay, but in AAA titles like God of War or even Spider-Man, it really won't be that bothersome. However, I can see how this could be a problem for playing competitive games like Apex Legends or even Call of Duty. And with that conclusion, I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you actually knew about this trick or even found it helpful at all. Or perhaps maybe if you have other uses for using this method. Please share your comments below. Let me know what you think. And I'll catch you on the next one.